reaction mechanism so this video will focus on uh, reaction mechanism uh, applied in as applied in kinetics so you will know about the slow step and how uh, presence of an equilibrium uh, will be used to get rid of an intermediate so before we go into actual question let's see what a reaction mechanism is it is a series of simple steps that leads to the product from the reactants and the step which is the slowest among the series of these steps will be the rate determining step and the experimentally determined rate law should support the proposed mechanism and the whatever mechanism you propose should also be consistent with the stoichiometry of the overall reaction So consider the reaction given over there. So let's apply how to write the rate law based on the reaction mechanism given over there. The reaction given to you is nitrogen dioxide combining with carbon monoxide to give you NO and carbon dioxide. And the proposed uh, reaction mechanism for that is there is a first step where NO2, uh, two molecules of NO2 combine to give you NO and NO3 and that's called the slow step and that's been given as the slow step now the no3 which is an intermediate product which does not appear in the final reaction combines with carbon monoxide to give you no2 and carbon dioxide so when i and this is a fast step so when i add up the two reactions one of the no2 from the reactant gets cancelled with the one of the no2 in the product side and the um, intermediate product no3 also gets cancelled and the proposed uh, uh, mechanism finally gives the uh, equation which we are looking for that is NO2 combining with carbon monoxide to give you NO1 carbon dioxide. Now to write the rate law for this reaction we know the slow step is the rate law uh, it determines the rate law and therefore the rate equation will be rate equals K the slow step has two molecules of NO2 therefore NO2 NO2 and which can be combined and written as rate equals K LO2 raised the power of 2 so therefore what do we observe this is a reaction in which is uh, second order with respect to NO2 and uh, carbon monoxide which is also a reactant does not figure out in the rate equation hence it is zero order with respect to carbon monoxide for the reaction 2A plus B giving you 2C, the proposed mechanism is given below. Determine the rate law for the reaction. So the first uh, step is uh, 2A uh, becomes I and then this I combines with B to give you 2C. So I is an intermediate here and the first step is a fast equilibrium and the second step is the slow step. So when you are writing the rate equation, we use the slow step and we will write rate equals K uh, concentration of I concentration of B. This I does not figure out in the final equation hence it's an intermediate and we need to get rid of it. How do we do it? So look at the first step the fast equilibrium step. So using that we can write the rate equation for both their directions. So the rate of the forward reaction will be K and I have written it as KF to indicate that it is a rate constant for the forward reaction. Concentration of A raised the power of 2. Because uh, in the mechanism we can use this stoichiometry as the order. And the rate of the reverse reaction is KRI because when it goes in the reverse reaction I becomes the reactant. But as far as the condition of equilibrium is concerned rate of uh, forward reaction is equal to rate of the react, uh, reverse reaction. So equate Kf concentration of A raised to the power of 2 to Kr concentration of I. So get the value of, rearrange and get the value of I. And after you get it, substitute it into the rate equation for I. I get rate equals K, Kf divided by Kr, A raised to the power of 2, B. But uh, all these K, KF, KR, they are all constants. Therefore, can be put into another constant. I just call it as K dash. And therefore, the rate equation becomes 
K, concentration of A raised to the power of 2, concentration of B. A raised second order with respect to A and order 1 with respect to B. So, these kind of a reaction, we use the principle of equilibrium that rate of the forward reaction equals to the rate of the reverse reaction to solve for the intermediate product. One more question similar to the previous one. A reaction is given NO plus 2NO plus O2 giving you 2NO2 and the proposed mechanism is also given. You have to find out the rate law. The proposed mechanism is NO giving you N2O2 that's a fast equilibrium step and N2O2 combines with oxygen to give you NO2. That's a slow step. So when I add up the two equations, then our N2O2 will get cancelled and we get the equation which uh, they have given you. Now to write the rate law, we, as you know, we always use the slow step. Therefore, rate is equal to K, concentration of N2O2, oxygen. So this N2O2 is an intermediate product. We need to get rid of it. And as always, when we need to get rid of an intermediate product, we use the fast equilibrium step. So from equation 1, we get the rate of the forward reaction is Kf NO raised to the power of 2. And rate of the reverse reaction is Kr, concentration of N2O2. So the principle of equilibrium, rate of the forward reaction is equal to rate of the reverse reaction. So equate the two and get the concentration of N2O2 in terms of NO. And after you get it, substitute it into the rate equation uh, for the concentration of N2O2. And that comes as K, K over KR, NO raised to the power of 2 and O2. So now K, KF divided by KR is one big constant. So I can write it as just K dash. So rate comes as K dash, concentration of NO raised to the power of 2, oxygen. And that means it is second order with respect to NO and order 1 with respect to oxygen.